Hi everyone, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts. Welcome to Quilting Window Life. I am so glad you took the time and wanted to visit with me and see what's new and exciting from Laundry Basket Quilts. You know, the weather is getting a little cooler outside, kids are back in school, and guess what? We are back in full swing of quilting, crafting, and creating. And what a wonderful event tomorrow. Do you know that tomorrow is National Sew a Jelly Roll Day? Oh, I hope you're taking advantage of our promotion right now that we have all these beautiful jelly rolls and they are 15% off. So go to our website and make sure you grab some for yourself or your friend so tomorrow you can enjoy amazing sewing day and have fun, exciting project in front of you. I have all the jelly rolls in front of me that are available right now and I also brought oh, one of my favorite, our souffle roll. This one is a little bit bigger and I wanted to show you some projects and some things that you can do with jelly rolls and I have a super fun surprise for you. I'm going to point it to four wonderful designs that are free on our website. You can download them. So as we go through the projects, I'm going to tell you which ones are those and you can really enjoy those fun jelly rolls but you probably wonder what I'm working on it right now and yesterday I did a little preview on our Instagram I'm working on an amazing quilt yes it's all baskets the quilt called laundry basket and it has small baskets medium baskets in it isn't it cute and uh, large baskets in it and yes, when you make your basket, you finish the baskets, you can go ahead and add a little bit of applique to it. I am so excited about this project. I started two days ago. I know two days ago and I am already into applique and I know this weekend between a little bit of my jelly roll projects on Saturday I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be done with this project. How did I get it, this project done so fast? Because I used our pattern laundry basket but also I use this most amazing kit. Look at this kit, isn't that stunning? This is just beautiful. And what's so special about this kit is when you open up the box, all your baskets are packed in packages. This is the small basket. Everything is here. Look at, I opened this bag for you to see it. So when you open the bag, look at this. Look at this. Isn't it amazing? You have your handles already done for you with fusible webbing on it. All that you have to do is peel the paper away and stick it to the background. And the backgrounds are right here. Let me show you, look at those squares. And by the way, packed by Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. She's just amazing. Always making sure that all the pieces are in the box. So look at this. This is your background, but now onto the basket itself. Look at this. I love this. I grabbed the set, sat down. Hour later, I had all my baskets sewn down. Look at how beautiful colors. Everything is nicely cut and it's laser cut. So the fabrics are not fraying as you're working on it. And all that you have to do is just add the piece on the left, add the piece on the right. If you need more help and a little bit more direction, of course, follow the pattern. But I also tape those baskets with our block of the month. And speaking of block of the month, I hope you watch your video this morning and you're making your block of the month because we're moving along on that one. So look at this. If you like those baskets, everything is in a box, your binding, your border, a wonderful project already pre-cut for you. So if you have a little bit of a problem with your hands and cutting, this project is for you. This is the good news that it's all pre-cut, ready, set, go. Not so good news is that we have limited amount of those. So if you want one of those kits, please go to our website and get it for yourself. They're packed in beautiful box or you can get it for a gift for the holidays, for Christmas. Wouldn't that be wonderful for someone? I love mine. I'm definitely getting two more of those because I want one for my mom and one for my mother-in-law. Don't tell them. That's what they're getting for Christmas. 
from me. I love this. And you know the little handle? All that I did is I used the little zigzag and we have a beautiful thread it called Secret Stash and I just zigzag around the edges with this beautiful thread. They're nice color. You can switch the colors if you want a little accent of green, little accent of blue. Everything is in it. So those are the threads that I use for around the edges. My applique, the flower applique, um, I don't know yet if I'm going to use the cotton thread or if I'm going to go for invisible thread from Aurifil. We have the thread on our website because I maybe wanted to do something really, really fast. And with the invisible thread, I don't have to switch the color from red to yellow to green. And I can get those blocks done like this. And it's all about finishing the project and having fun. Once I finish my project, I know I'm going to be looking for a backing. And I noticed with my daughter's wedding quilt, everybody was so exciting about the backing and there were so many questions and so many suggestions. I today brought few fabrics to show you that are my favorites for backings of quilts. All the fabrics that I'm showing you are ones that I would grab it and use it in the back of the quilt. So if I wanted to hide some of my stitches in a bag, if I wanted to be very, uh, you know, um, uh, just simple, I would use something like this. And this fabric is from our Super Bloom collection. All of the fabrics that I'm showing you, Erin is going to put the numbers on our website, on the YouTube channel, so that way you can just click and find these fabrics. But those are few of my favorites. Few of my favorite things. You didn't think I can sing. See, now you know it. So right there, this one is going to be perfect to hide stitches. I like my fabric a little bit lighter. So many times I choose something like this really bright because when I flip the quilt, I love the lightness and matching with my white sheets. So fabrics like this are really nice. And this one has a medium print. So it's really, really nice. I love that one. This is another favorite of mine. And this one, because of the teal, gives me this beautiful, beautiful look to it. And then um, with the bigger flowers, again, I can hide some of the stitches if I wanted to. You know, because in machine quilting, sometimes you go over many times and you want to hide the stitches. Oh, if you switch in colors. So this kind of backings really are helpful another one and right now this is our best seller for backings and this one is from our seamstress collection this is the big print this also was one of the candidates for my daughter's wedding quilt so um you probably many of you suggested that i should use that one this one comes in uh, the light ver version, then we have it tone on tone, as well as I brought it with me today, this blue version of this one. And if you want a darker backing for your quilt, this one may be the one you want to do it. Another one that I have it hidden right here in the bottom is this one. And I think this is the one I'm going to use it on my basket quilt. Why? Because I love the little orange uh, berries on it, the beautiful uh, green is going to blend with the baskets in the front and it's going to give me just enough accent. I really love that one. And this is 9771-0. I also like to use ones that I didn't use it before. So this one I have not used it yet. So I'm really excited to use this in the backing of my quilt. So those are just few choices. I hope you enjoy those. But now into what we came here together today we want to talk about jelly rolls we have so many beautiful jelly rolls and i'm gonna start with two that are for me are staple when i shop for jelly roll many times the ones that you find are the multicolor ones like this where you have the dark fabric or maybe you have a, a, a variety of fabrics from light to dark these two jelly rolls are only light fabric this is medium light 
this is light light. I really like buying those because I needed that contrast in some of the projects. So this would be a staple for me to get it. Then I look at, at my designs and the patterns. And a pattern like this, the Palm Springs, look at this, I can grab a jelly roll like this. This one is from Linen Texture 2, and I can use it to make a beautiful rainbow quilt. All right, you don't wanna do this one, I got it. Let's go for Little Bear, and Little Bear Design would use a jelly roll like this one from the uh, blue bird collection where you have a lot of beautiful blue strips and you can make a gorgeous quilt like this one that is a stunning quilt now I know you thinking cloud nine you're already dreaming of your next project what about the secret stash blues this is a beautiful jelly roll for this design would be just perfect we have a design called uh, TP. Look at this quilt and the jelly roll used in this one is olive branch jelly roll. Isn't it gorgeous? Stunning. Where sometimes your strips are a little bit smaller and you can use a pattern like driftwood where you only uses one and one quarter strips so you can take a jelly roll, cut it in half and get a nice variety to make this beautiful quilt. So those are just few of the designs that I wanted to show you. I have some free patterns now, I promise you, that I wanted to share with you. So one of my personal favorites is this flower wall, and I brought this pattern um, in two different color options. Look at this, this is with rainbow fabric, so a jelly roll like, uh, uh, linen texture too and of course notice you need that light accent so getting a one of oh I would have get this one this is the touch of pink would be perfect if you want a little bit darker backgrounds then this one from secret stash natural would be amazing I mean this would be gorgeous with all those beautiful rainbow colors so those two definitely can go together or you can go for a jelly roll like for quilt like this one isn't it beautiful and this one was done with super bloom we don't have a super bloom anymore but we have the most beautiful seamstress collection and seamstress collection for this quilt would be stunning it will give you a beautiful uh, strips you can shade the colors and you can follow the shading just like i have it in a jelly roll to make this project really fun and exciting you will need two of the jelly rolls for this one because you want to add double on it you need moa lights and moa darks to be able to make this project oh another project that i have to share with you let me put this quilt to the side is one of my personal favorites called king's valley and this is done with just strips and scraps and leftovers but you can look at on our website i have colored the quilt in a just one full collection isn't it beautiful and you can start it's a medallion style quilt so you have that center medallion right here and you start building up with green yellow all the scraps and with a little bit a glass of wine don't even worry about the corners. All those fabrics gonna melt and beautifully work together. So um, Kings Valley, another fantastic pattern to use jelly rolls. You're gonna cut the strips to section, sew them together, and then create this beautiful design. I love this one. But the most popular one, Norway go to our website and see Norway. I have the quilt done in blue and white. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? So you get a one piece of fabric right here and you can use all different strips and color and it doesn't matter. You can use a light jelly roll. You can pick up your favorite maybe rainbow one and start creating and putting things, shading in a rainbow arrangement. So Norway may be the next one you wanted to do it. And I'm pretty sure 
tomorrow, this is the pattern I'm going to be working on it because I really desire a one that it's a little bit more scrappy and you're gonna ask me, what am I gonna use for that background fabric? And I decide on something different. I wanted something solid and I grab one of my favorites from Linen Texture 2. This one is 9057 and three. Notice it. It's a little bit darker. It has the tea dye flavor, but every jelly roll I put next to it, it looks so rich, so fabulous. Notice this. Look what happened with blue. Isn't it stunning? And can you imagine the quilting? How nice it's going to look on it? If I want a little rainbow, look at how beautiful this looks. Oh, if I want to go brighter, look how exciting. Or if I want to use my lights, how fabulous. So if you want something that goes with everything, this one is going to be a perfect. This is what I'm going to use for my background tomorrow. And I don't know, I'm going to surprise you which jelly roll I'm going to use it. I don't know yet. Maybe I'm going to have to ask Erin to help me pick one. <clears throat> or maybe we're both going to do some sewing tomorrow. Look at this. Oh, Erin is laughing. Don't worry, one of those days I'm going to convince her that she needs to be quilting with me. She's almost there. So right there, this is going to be my background. Another little project I want to show you. It's so simple. You can take one jelly roll, sew your strips together, then section them and look what happened. And you could get four sections like this. Look at this. Isn't that stunning? Just simple. Those strips are two and a half by eight and a half. So eight and a half, you have enough for four and you could do four table runners out of one jelly rolls. And here you just add a little bit of extra fabric. And I think my beautiful accent fabric may be something I could add on the left and the right. Add quilting to it would be stunning. So I hope I give you plenty of ideas. And guess what? If you can use a small jelly roll, can you imagine how much more you can get done if you have a bigger roll like souffle? If you want it, you can cut the fabric in half or you just oversize and make big blocks, big nine patches, big squares, sew them together and create a wonderful, wonderful project. When you do quilts that have bigger pieces, many times you maybe don't want to put quilting on it and you want to do something different. And you know, not every quilt have to be machine quilted or hand quilted. Recently, I've been playing with some tie of my quilts. So all that I do is take a beautiful yarn and we have this yarn and I can take the yarn and just tie it and tie it. Are you interested in seeing how I do it? Next Wednesday, I'm gonna show it on my blog, how I tie a quilt. I think you guys would really, really like that. You just need a simple needle, your favorite a yarn, and uh, I'm using the cascade yarn to tie my quilts and those little accent of the yarn, just add a little bit something, and especially for a small, smaller project, this work very well. Now on this side of the table today, before I let you go, I prepare a few things that I think you'll be excited about it. How can you not be excited about a beautiful book? Our Patches of Blue, is one of our best-selling books and we are waiting and cannot tell you how excited I am. We have a brand new book coming out in blue and white. It calls Seasons of Blue. Guys, it is beautiful. We should have copies maybe for next week live show to show you, but the book will come out in October. So start preparing yourself. Perfect Christmas gift perfect for you, perfect for your friends. This new book could be the exact thing you needed. If you do not want to wait, Patches of Stars, another bestsellers from us. If you want a smaller project, we have a beautiful little handful of scraps with so many lovely projects. And I brought this book because I thought with jelly rolls, there are so many projects that you can make a smaller project because they require so much less fabric. Or you maybe collect many jelly rolls and you need a 
big handful of scraps, the regular handful of scraps. That book have so many beautiful quilts, 15 scrappy quilts that are perfect for jelly rolls, layer cakes, on oh, any of your wonderful, wonderful fabrics. Anytime I think of a project, I start with my fabrics, I then move on to my designs and kind of tweak them. Uh, maybe I need a template and for example, this little 60 degree template fits perfectly on Jelly Roll. So I want to bring your attention to that one. And this template is used in our TP quilt and I think it's wonderful. You can, it's a little pyramid triangle. So it's one 60 degree triangle, really fun to work with. But then another thing that I try to think about it is my needle and threads and pins. I use those things the most in my quilting. And the first thing when I'm piecing, I'm starting with my pins. And I brought some new pins that we just got. We have it from Clover, this ones, and then those little tulip pins. Because I absolutely love when I have my little pin cushion to have my favorite pins in it. And I love the bigger ones because they're easy to grab it. But then the smaller ones allow me for some detail work. And the smaller ones that I have is those patchwork pins, glass head. I recommend them to you all the time so if you're thinking about something for yourself pins would be it this box have the multicolor ones but if you love just red and pinks we have them if you just want a blue stash you, we have them as well so you can color coordinate to your sewing room and to anything that you do now another thing that i like to have is either magnet low um, uh, this is a little button with a magnet in it and this pin cushion always have a, also have a uh, magnet. Sometimes you lose things and it's easier to just run it with the pin cushion of this to pick it up or place it on it so it doesn't go anywhere. I know that doesn't happen to you but it happens to me that I lose a pins and needles sometimes and it could be dangerous. Another thing that I'm thinking about when I'm prepping for new project is threads and of course my favorite orofill threads and I don't know if you guys know this but orofill threads come on variety of spools this is just a little teaser so it's a small spool then you have the regular size spool this is the most common one that we use it and I have a new thing that it's gonna come out I think you're gonna love for this spool something new that we're working on it and if you really love it I recommend getting that big spool because guess what you're gonna use it so those big ones and all of those are available on our website I usually take those with me when I travel. So when I go on a plane or anywhere, those I use it for sewing. Sometimes I use this one for quilting or for sewing. Um, this is weight 50, so it's a little bit thinner. So make sure you get the right weight of a thread for the project that you're working on. I like the weight 50 because I um, love how nice my seams come out. So when I stitch it, the seam doesn't get bulky. It gets really, really nice. So I absolutely love this one. So those are just a few threads that we have available. And another thing that I brought it today, the last thing that I would really pay attention to it, it's my needles. If I do machine, um, uh, quilting or stitching or appliquing, I match my needles to it. It's the least the thing that you invest, but it makes such an impact. So if you applique, you want to have an applique non-stick needle. If you're doing piecing, macrotex needle. Uh, you have to pay attention to the needles. And many times in my videos, I tell you, this is the needle that I'm using. So fresh needle in my sewing machine before I stitch. Now, if I'm doing hand sewing, I'm going to use a really nice needle. And there are some variety of needles that I like. For embroidery, I would love to use the DMC needle. This is a really nice needle from um, 
John James, and this is a nice different sizes, and I love that there is a needle threader. We have all of those available, but one of my personal favorite is this one because of that cute little wooden um, case. So when I'm traveling, it's easy to place my needle and doesn't get lost. So those are the few things. Now, Thread Magic, if you have not used it yet with your needle when you do binding or hand stitching, you've got to have it. You know why? Because remember when you sewing and the thread gets tied up, you're gonna be thanking me for. You just run your thread through it so that way it doesn't get tied up and knotted and it's so much easier to sew. And if you like to pick your fingers, the only thing that I can recommend for you is a nice thimble and I love this one because sometimes my hands are swollen so my size of my finger is changing and with this uh, rubber low thimble it adjusts as it needs to so I can use it anytime swollen or not swollen hands I'm good to go ready for stitching and the last thing I wanted to show you, some pin cushions so if you are back in your sewing room and want a little you know something new and exciting those little pin cushions are wonderful or you can get one of our butterfly pattern pin cushion and make your own pin cushion what would be just great and i brought this scissors you know i just made a dress for my daughter dolphina a dancing dress and i was just reminded how much i love using this scissors for just you know, simple cutting, when I trim my quilt, when I just need a really quick cut, they're sharp, they're wonderful, and we have them available in two sizes. Oh, so many wonderful things. Do not get overwhelmed. Choose one at a time. Pick your favorite jelly roll, grab your little needle, decide on your project, download that free pattern, and join me in tomorrow for National so jelly roll day but before i go i know erin is getting excited because she has some questions from you guys so let's go and see what questions we have today yes we have so many questions and so many congratulations and thank well wishes you. on the wedding thank you thank you thank you and guys in case you are wondering which backing i use on the quilt i went with the signature um, backing I just want to capture that moment. I've done this backing before for other weddings and I knew how special it feels. I did something different this time because the quilt was so light. I have uh, some of the guests just write wishes and I'm still reaching out to some of our friends that were at the wedding. It was so busy, you wouldn't believe it. And I myself going to transfer and put those good wishes on the back on Delfina's quilt. She loved the quilt. She was so surprised. Her and George had the best time ever. And I am so thankful for you guys to sending so many beautiful wishes. I could not have done this without you. And thank you for your patience. I know I was not uh, here available for everybody uh, the last few days, but I'm back and we are full swing into quilting. So don't you worry, I have some fun things planned for you. Okay, so our first question was, are you still planning on doing a quilt along for seamstress? Yes, that is the next one that we're doing. So seamstress is our next quilt along. We are so excited about this quilt. And I simply wanted to do it because I want you to do quilt with me. I'm still working on mine and I need your help. So quilting together is the way to go. Um, for the backing fabrics that you showed today, are any of those going to be wide around 108 inches? No. So all of those are 40 to 42. So if you have something that it's 108, we have few 108 backings, like one piece that, that you can purchase from us. And we, we don't have them on our website because there are some that I buy from my quilts. All that you have to do is email us or call us and we can tell you which ones we have available at this time. They go really, really fast. So this ones, you have to piece it to get the right size for the back of your quilt. And most likely I would always piece mine. Um, I do have few that I purchase either from our uh, designs or other designers, ones that I like it, that you can also have it if you would like to. Perfect. 
Um, how, in regards to jelly rolls, yes. how would you use your quarter inch seam allowance? Would you do it from the inner or the outer side of the cut edge? Of the cut edge. What it's really wonderful with Endover gel, jelly rolls, so Endover is the company that makes our jelly rolls. The little zigzag is so small and I actually use the outside of the zigzag. If you have um, a jelly roll that has a big zigzag, uh, I would, you have to pick the number, you know, you have to figure it out for yourself and you would probably want to be a little bit more to the inside, you know, of the zigzag. Then I use the outside because notice, look at how tiny they are. So no much impact on my uh, quarter inch seam allowance. It's really nice and I follow because end of a jelly rolls are cut at two and a half inch so I can create my projects and don't have to worry about it. Now something to brag and share with you this is jelly rolls that we cut in house and notice that perfect cut. Those are ones that we make it, we do not cut them here, but we have a company that cuts it for us and those are our jelly rolls. You cannot buy them anywhere else. I pick the colors and then have them cut for us. So this touch of pink is one of my pride and joy and I love it because it has a straight cut on the edge. Thank you. And also our souffles have that straight cut. So there is no waste on the edges. Well, while we're on the topic of souffles, um, we were wondering if you have any patterns that are for souffles. So I'm working on some patterns, but you can use souffles for any of the designs. And what my concept is, like what I'm going to do it this weekend, I'm going to try uh, some of my free designs that are for jelly rolls and use the souffle. So just bigger sizes. So. Um, I'm gonna make some nine patches, some simple things. Uh, with this um, uh, size, I don't wanna cut it smaller. I wanna keep it nice and big. So making a quilt just with like a, a little brick design, just like our, look at this, I have to show you this. Hold down. So just imagine this quilt and how much faster it would be happening if I would have have larger pieces like this. So just starting in the center, start creating a little, I call those bricks because it's in the size of a little brick. So if this is two and a half, uh, this is four and a half. So if you have this at four, then you want to eight in a length so it's a nice balance back and forth start creating start making those and you can have this quilt so much faster and so much larger using something like this and we have them in variety of colors so you can pick the blues with the lights you can add a little red to it if you want to or maybe you more blue and a green kind of girl and i opened the blue and a green it has a lot of nice teals that look beautiful together and with the little bit yellow it would be nice to have it for the middle so i'm probably gonna grab my souffle and go for something like this and see how it looks and and enjoy it this way or if you have a souffle this makes a very nice half square triangle so doing a thousand pyramids just nice big half square triangle sew them together and you can again take a light and a dark put two strips together sew it draw a uh, line sew it on the left on the right and you get two triangles right away out of one square in the same colors so you could really enjoy it and make something fun and special thank you but we will we will have patterns for those i'm working on it i'm telling you thank you so much for your patience this wedding has took over my life mm -hmm. and I bet many of you can relay with it. You know, when you have a bride in your family, you want to do everything possible. I only get to do this one time so for her. So I, I want to make sure I'm there 100% and now I'm back and I'm 100% for you guys. So we will be making a lot of different things, starting with that seamstress quilt. I'm excited about that one. So get ready. For um, charm packs, even though we didn't talk about them today, yes, um, she's having difficulty piecing and matching edges. Is there a trick for a charm pack? So um, when you first get your charm pack, uh, open it up, make sure you take each piece, spray it, 
uh, with best press and iron. Sometimes, you know, when maybe the fabrics are cut, the shift or something happen. And you know, if you have to, you may be gonna have to trim the squares to exact size to, uh, you know, work on your project. I usually open the charm packs and I go right for it. And you know, the nice things with fabric is that you can pull and push and pin and it's easy once you sew it, press it and things work out. It's a little more difficult when you're cutting from wood or metal because we don't have as much forgiveness. We are really, really lucky as quilters that we can enjoy it and absorb some of the imperfections of fabrics and our handwork. So um, enjoy it. I, when I get a charm pack, the first thing I do, I open to see all my colors, gently spray it with best press and then iron it and then I proceed. Sometimes that stiffness help with matching and lining things up. Um, for the Norway pattern, yes. how would you mix the different strips for that pattern? So when you go to the Norway pattern, in fact, oh, look at this. Coincident, I print one. Thank you to Erin. When you open the pattern, so you're gonna download that PDF, you're gonna print it for yourself. Notice this, you do not do strip piecing on that one. Everything is cut and it's just made from unit. Should I put it, can we see this? So look at how simple the units are. And I have a video on our website for this pattern. So go to the video called Norway and I show you how I make this block. So for example, if I, this weekend, I think my heart is set on this uh, rainbow roll and this beautiful background and I'm gonna either do this roll or I'm gonna do the seamstress roll because I love the idea of uh, printed fabric with lots of flowers in design and a solid background. I think that's so beautiful. It really like mixes the modern with the traditional look to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my roll, I'm gonna cut my one inch, uh, my two and a half by two and a half inch squares and I'm gonna lay my quilt out. Then I'm gonna go ahead into sewing because I'm a little bit controlling. I want the color to go where I want them and I will post pictures as I'm working on the quilt as well well as the whole quilt, how I'm planning it out. But all that I would do is cut it, lay it out. You can lay it out in a rainbow arrangement. You can lay it out shading from light to dark, or you can close your eyes and just take pieces and let the design be whatever it happens. What it's nice when you get a jelly roll, everything is already matched for you. Every single piece is connected, have similar colors, all the DNA is done, so you could close your eyes and go completely scrappy on that one and really have a beautiful, beautiful quilt. As I'm making my blocks many times, I have to tell you, I pay attention what's in the first unit, second unit, and then things seem to really work out for me quite well. So focus on small units, make sure they match, they look beautiful. Try not to cluster the color because you don't want all the color just be in one spot if you have multicolor pieces. And if you worry about it, going with a light jelly roll and just doing all in the same shades. Oh, going in a blues. Look at how beautiful that blue was with the toad background. It would be stunning winter quilt. Oh, I don't know now. Now I'm confused. Erin, are you going to help me choose? Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> well, I hope I have answered all your questions. And thank you once again for stopping by. Make sure go to our website. Yes. We have one last question. One last question. Okay, I was ready to say goodbye, but Erin stopped me. Yes. What is the beautiful quilt hanging right behind you? Oh. Guys, this is the da 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 quilt and I brought this quilt, guess what, because the circles in da 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 fit on jelly roll. So when you're cutting your strips for any of your projects, save tiny bit, make low circle and create this beautiful quilt. And you can go this size, smaller, you can do a pillow, but this is another wonderful project that can be made with jelly rolls because the circles fit right on it. When you do the fusible applique, if you want to do a, a hand applique, you're going to need a charm pack. But for fusible, you can easily cut off some nice circle 
and place it on the backgrounds and create a beautiful, beautiful quilt. That was our last questions for the day. I love you guys. Thank you for all the wonderful wishes for my daughter. I very, very much appreciate. We had a wonderful time and we are so thankful we are back and I can't wait Remember, get ready. Our next project will be the seamstress. We're going to start by learning a basic eight point star that's next week. And then we kicked in with a beautiful seamstress quilt, quilt alone, where I'm going to show you sections of the quilt, how I'm going through and attack and talk about some of the things that maybe you wanted to learn and grow as a quilter. Happy quilting. And if you want a kit, we have only few left of that one. So please grab your kit and get ready with us to do seamstress quilt.